Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. And if you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. You're missing a lot of awesome videos on luxury handbags and authentication and reselling and a lot of stuff. My name is Anastasia. I'm a bagaholic. I love luxury handbags and I talk a lot about luxury handbags here. <laughs> So I've been selling for seven years or even eight years, I guess, and I've seen a lot of beautiful handbags, anything you can imagine, a Birkin or a Cali, a Louis Vuitton bags, Louis Vuitton Neverfull, Louis Vuitton Pochette Métis, all the handbags you might imagine. I've touched them, I had an opportunity to uh, wear them for a while before I listed them. So I wanted to share several handbags I kept in my collection after all and several handbags I'm never ever selling because they are so dear to me that I can probably let go neither of them. This is my personal top and I have to warn you, you might be shocked by it's the content, the, the handbags that I've chosen. So if you're not in the mood to be shocked, then <laughs> consider not watching this video. Otherwise. Let me show you what I have for you. It will be very interesting. Let's go. And let's start with a Van Hermes Birkin. What? Look, can you start a top with a Van Hermes Birkin? Well, basically, yes, because I had several Birkins. I sold them all. When I was getting a the first one, I, I was getting it for myself. I swore I'll never sell it. I'm keeping it and uh, no matter, uh, it doesn't matter that it costs a lot, I will gladly keep it in my closet to enjoy it for a lifetime. And then I realized that I have to sell it because I needed money. Um, now I got another one. At the moment, I feel like I'm keeping this baby because I finally found a leather, a type of leather that I love. I don't really love uh, Togo or Clemence. These are the two most widespread Hermes uh, types of leather. I love this chevre leather because it keeps the bag structured. It looks beautiful. I love the way it looks. And uh, this baby is over 10 years old, I guess even 15 years old. Um, it's beautiful and that's why I love it. I also love the color because it's very easy to combine. Um, you can combine it basically with any outfit. And I love the fact that it has gold hardware. Most of Hermes bag I've sold had a silver tone hardware, which is not that exclusive and not that expensive as gold hardware. So I feel like I'm keeping it. I have another video on this Hermes Birkin called Why I Hate Hermes Birkin. And <laughs> I really hated uh, this style, this, this handbag, a Birkin. Um, because it's not made for people, it's made for people to show off and then take a Neverfull to go somewhere. It's, it's not made to be used, it, it's made to be enjoyed. Do you feel the same? I purchased this handbag a year ago and since then I've never been out with her. <laughs> it's just sitting in my closet as, uh, as an investment. I mostly look at it not uh, as at a, at a handbag that I'm wearing, that I'm enjoying, but as an investment. So my goal is to keep it in good condition and then its price will only be growing year over year. By the way, if you're interested in learning how to invest in luxury handbags, which handbags are the best to invest in, we finally released a course. Uh, it's called How to Invest in Luxury Handbag Part 1. And basically it's about learning which are the best brands, which are the best segments and the best models to invest in to keep your money and even beat S&P 500. So bottom line, I'm not selling this handbag because it's an excellent investment and because I purchased it at a bargain price. And probably I also love the fact that I have a Birkin. I own a Birkin. And probably I also love the fact that I own a Birkin. Moving next, I purchased the next handbag for resale, but then I realized I just wanted to leave it for myself 
because it's so comfortable and I love the color. It's one of my favorite epi colors ever, if not the most favorite epi color ever. It's called Louis Vuitton Phoenix PM. And those who follow my channel know that uh, I love handbags that don't scream the brand out. Uh, there are no Louis Vuitton letters here. There, there's only one monogram. Very, very, you can barely see it, basically. And that's it. But those who know, they know it's a real Louis Vuitton. I actually purchased it because of its color. I love the color. And uh, as I wear a lot of gray um, blazers and gray tones, um, it's very easy to combine with this type of color. It's like a fresh, vivid detail in your attire. Basically, I love the size. I love the fact that it's um, it has a magnet opening. Um, and I love the handles. The handles are, these Louis Vuitton handles are super comfortable, super smooth, and uh, very easy to love. I also haven't heard about any issues with this handbag. The glazing is, well, like new, um, and uh, the corners are very good. The shape is very good too, so uh, this handbag will look fantastic even if after several years of use. That's a handbag I'm not letting go due to its color, its size, and uh, again, it's very unique and no one knows it. It's not recognizable and sometimes I love the fact that I have a very expensive and very beautiful item that looks just like a regular handbag. Moving next, and surprise, here comes the most widespread and popular well, one of the most widespread and popular Louis Vuitton items, a never full MM in monogram canvas. Guys, I hated this handbag when I saw it before I got in stock. I hated it. Whenever I saw it on someone, I thought to myself, it's so not special. Everyone has it. And the straps are so thin. There are obviously issues with the straps, uh, with, with the handles coming. And uh, these uh, straps, the cinches, I never understood them, why they are here. Uh, the opening, I hate uh, open opening. Yeah, there is a deer enclosure, but uh, I've never felt safe with that. Whenever I'm on the streets, I just don't feel safe with this type of opening. Then I got one in stock and I was selling it and uh, we were going away for a weekend. So I needed a very large bag. I'm a petite girl, so I don't have too many large handbags in my collection. So I decided I'll just use a Neverfull once and uh, it will be a walk of shame for me, but uh, I'm gonna do it because I need a larger bag. So it actually had space for everything. So everything I needed for a weekend was here. And then we returned from this weekend and then I went somewhere else. And finally it became my item. It's not listed, it's my personal handbag. That's my main handbag, the one I use daily as it has space for everything inside. And also due to the fact that uh, I know that I can purchase another one whenever I like. There, there are a lot of sellers selling a monogram canvas never full and there are a lot of options like you can pick the condition, the, a better condition or a worse condition. Uh, so I know I can replace it. It's not unique so I can replace it if something goes wrong. Another fact to consider that unlike Birkin, <laughs> This handbag is not that expensive. I, I don't want to say the word cheap because whenever we are talking handbags that cost, it's uh, 1,500 at the store and uh, probably 700 pre-loved. And whenever we are talking this kind of money, I, I cannot pronounce the word cheap. <laughs> It's expensive, but in terms of when we're talking luxury handbags, it's one of the cheapest. It's one of the most affordable, let, let's put it this way. Anyway, it's a nice handbag, uh, good investment because the prices are going up every year at Louis Vuitton. Uh, it's very easy to combine it with uh, anything. I personally love to combine it with warmer colors. Great, great, great handbag. All right, so I love a monogram Neverfull, but it's not unique. So what do I do if I need something unique? 
more unique than I never fool. This one is for sale. I'm not keeping it. Uh, it's probably too unique for me, but I have another option, another unicorn that you're gonna love and a handbag that I really recommend. And it's a Neverfull Roses Steven Sprouse uh, limited edition. That's probably the most beautiful limited edition of a Neverfull that ever existed because for one, it has roses on it and then it also have a bright pink interior, <laughs> which just makes you happy. Um, so whenever I want something unique, whenever I have an occasion um, and I want a never full bag uh, and I want to take a never full bag with me, then I uh, just use this uh, baby, which is not that used as my everyday never full. And basically I try to minimize the use of this handbag uh, because I love it. Um, I sold more than, I guess I sold five of them, five uh, roses, never fools. Every year I had them in stock and I was thinking to myself that this time I'm keeping it. But um, I didn't like never fool at that time and I thought, no, I'm not gonna use it. So why keep it? Why not let someone enjoy it? Currently I'm keeping this handbag as it makes me happy. Um, it's very beautiful. It's also an excellent investment and uh, it's just something I'm not ready to part with at the moment. And here comes my most favorite luxury handbag. Guess which? I already gave you a hint that this top two are a couple. The previous one was a pochette Matisse and this one is also a Matisse, but a Matisse hobo. Just look at it. Isn't it perfection? I, I know you might not be as excited as I am, but that was actually my favorite handbag when I was an employee because it had uh, space for my laptop, it has, it has space for everything, it's easy to carry it on the, on the shoulder, uh, it also has a crossbody strap by the way. And then I sold that uh, Medis Hobo I had and I regretted it for several years. Now two months ago I found this beauty uh, in my favorite Umprong color. I had a Speedy in this color previously and uh, Speedy is not my bag, but I was considering leaving it for myself because to me that's the most beautiful color on earth and uh, I have a lot of blazers, a lot of coats that match this color perfectly. And when, when I saw this handbag, I decided this time I'm not selling it ever. If you're eyeing this handbag, if you want to buy it sometime, please be aware that there are always issues with the glazing on the handle, on uh, the sides, and on the strap. My baby also has a problem with the glazing. Um, I won't wear it as it is because it will just leave marks on, on cloths. So I'm giving it to a leather surgeon to repair it um, and uh, then I'll be able to take care of it and enjoy it for several years. And that's one of my, that's my most favorite handbag from my collection. By the way, I think this color is called Animon. Bottom line, here's my favorite handbag. Are you surprised? At the moment, I feel like I'm not selling all these handbags ever and I'm so blessed to have them in my collection. I highly recommend them to you if you don't have it yet, don't have them yet. And if you have a similar taste or similar needs, if you need to carry your laptop or your stuff, pick a larger bag. Um, if you just need a crossbody to go, uh, pick a pochette Metis. All right, guys, that was all for today. And please, please, please share your favorite handbags in comments. Let me know which type of handbags you love and which ones are your favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and like the video if you learned something new or something useful or just liked it. I'll be happy to uh, see your feedback. Thank you so much and see you next week.